I'm up early. Well, it's not even that early. I'm just up earlier than Bradley to go to my Pilates mat class, which I've really been enjoying. But I didn't even say, I've been watching so many people's vlogmases and loving them and feeling left out that I wanted to do at least one vlog as part of Holiday Me. So that's what today's gonna be. I'm just pretty much working on crap from home. And then tonight I think we're gonna have a festive date night. So should be fun. And uh, yeah, I'll take you along on my day. I'm of course running late. So I'm just going to take a banana with me got my purse i'm gonna need some shoes and a sweater i just always wear my flip-flops to like every single exercise class i take are like classes you do barefoot so i'm just always in my flip-flops <laughs> so i am back and i'm hungry so bradley made us some sausage which he burnt no i did not I mean, it looks pretty charred on camera. I like my sausage like that. And he's making some butter. Making some butter. It's my favorite breakfast. Um, but the sausage is this stuff from Costco, which I really, really like. Also, can we discuss how full our freezer is? I probably have about 10 of these stockpiled. My favorite raviolis from Costco, the um, butternut squash ravs. But uh, yeah, Rob. I'm gonna have my uh, sausage here. Why are you doing that? You gonna throw it away. Ow, 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 ow. Just put it in the garbage disposal. I like to throw mine away. I'm also gonna have a little maple syrup dip. This is not focusing today. Hey guys, so it's a little bit later on now. It's almost one o'clock. I have been filming my morning routine. I just finished like the skincare and hair care portion of it. But now I think I'm going to make my chicken gnocchi soup. But so I'll kind of show you how I make it as I go. Okay, so I was covering the mic for most of this, but I'm just going to take about three tablespoons of butter and as many onions as you want. I usually use celery too, but I didn't have any this day, and I'm just going to melt down the butter and cook the onions until they are translucent. By the way, if you watch any of my Trader Joe's hauls, you know that I never cut an onion myself. I buy the Trader Joe's diced onions. It's cheap, it's easy, and I don't gag or cry while cutting onions. <laughs> So now that the onions are translucent, I'm just adding a lot of garlic. Just a lot. <laughs> and we just use the Kirkland um, minced California garlic. There's no preservatives or anything in here. It's just already minced for you, so it's super easy. I'm just going to mix this all together, and this is when it really starts to smell incredible. Now we're going to add about a fourth a cup of flour and we're just gonna let it coat everything. Um, this kind of helps thicken the soup up, so I'm just gonna pour that over the onions. I might not use all of it. And then you're just going to toss that around, coat all of the onions and cook it down a bit so you're getting rid of that raw flour taste. Then once that's cooked for a little bit, you add in two and a half to three cups of milk and you wanna do this slowly and mix as you go because the milk is gonna mix with the flour and kind of thicken up your soup. So depending on what kind of milk you use, it might be different, but um, yeah, just adding that pretty much a cup at a time and stirring in between. Then we're going to add about a cup and a half um, or two cups or more, depending on how thick or thin you like your soup, depending on what kind of milk you use. I use the fat-free lactose-free milk, so it doesn't thicken all that much. But if you use regular milk, it might thicken a lot. So just use the chicken broth to kind of, you know, gauge how thick you want it to be. Um, and by the way, I will try to link all of my kitchen stuff down below because everything I'm using is Pioneer Woman. So if I can find it, I'll link it. But we're just going to add the cup and a half or two cups of chicken broth to this and let it simmer a bit. Next, we're gonna add seasoning. I'm adding pepper, salt, and thyme, and this makes it taste exactly like the Olive Garden version, so just about this much thyme and lots of pepper. Smelling good. You're gonna let this simmer for a bit, and then you're gonna add your carrots. Again, using pre-shredded stuff or pre-cut. Um, I don't like too, too many carrots, so I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it 
first time I made it, I put in too many carrots and I was like, whoa, carrot overload. So I'd say probably about a cup of shredded carrots. That looks pretty good. You want to be able to see them, but you don't want them to like overpower the soup. Okay, now I'm going to add in my shredded chicken breast. I usually add in two shredded chicken breasts, but I only have one today, so it's gonna be a batch low on chicken, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna add that in and let it simmer for a bit. And then while that's simmering, we're just gonna add in a little bit of spinach, and I'm just gonna give it a rough chop before I add it in. You add this in last with the gnocchi because it takes the least amount of time to cook in there. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I don't know, eyeball it, give it a rough chop, and throw it in with the gnocchi. Okay, we're just gonna add it in. And then last but not least, you're just gonna add in your gnocchi. This is just a pack I get from Trader Joe's. Um, it's pretty good, so I'm just gonna add that into the pot. And there you have it. That's my chicken yoki soup recipe. Well, it's not mine. I got it from Candid Mommy Jenny here on YouTube. I changed it a little bit and made it my own, but um, I will link her original one down below if you want to see her video as well. It's a little bit more put together than mine, but. <laughs> so I'm just gonna let that gnocchi cook a bit and then I'm gonna enjoy myself some soup. So here is my finished bowl of soup. It's cooling off, but it's full of chicken and gnocchi and carrots and onions, it's so good. Then I also have a little side salad just to really make me feel like I'm at Olive Garden. I have some water in my cute Miss Mrs. Kate Spade tumbler. I'll link this down below if I can find it. And I'm going to watch Zoella's new Vlogmas because they're my absolute fave. Okay, so I finished my lunch. I even did the dishes and cleaned the counters, as if I have time for that, but I did it. <laughs> and my favorite um, counter spray is this Method All Purpose Spray, and we've been loving the lime and sea salt scent, and it's just really great. Sorry, I started the dishwasher as well, so that's the loud noise, but um, yeah, I just thought I'd show you this. I'll link it down below. I love it. And now I need to pick up over in this corner because I'm gonna be filming the second half of my morning routine, so like my everyday makeup routine lately. That's why I like morning routines because they just show off like products people are currently using. So anyway, I am doing that and I just gotta pick this up. There's a gift for Bradley hiding in there. Okay guys, I just finished filming my morning routine. I gotta pick all this crap up. Somebody's home and eating some of these. What are you doing? I'm watching Bobby Flay. Bobby Flay is my hero. I'm coming for you, sir. Your hero? My hero. You need to get ready for Christmas date night. Oh, I went for your chin. <laughs> you need to get ready for Christmas date night. What should I wear? Something Christmassy. What does that mean? I don't know. This TV is too loud to be vlogging. I just turned on the Christmas lights, which you can't see. We were supposed to leave at 4.30. It's 4.45 and somebody's shirtless. But we are getting ready to go to our holiday date night, Christmas, winter date night, whatever you want to call it. We do this every year. There's this neighborhood in the area I grew up in Valencia, California called Candy Cane Lane. And it's not even something I used to do as a child. I didn't know about it till I was like much, much older after I moved out of Valencia. It's just this neighborhood that like literally decks out everything you will see it's amazing so we go there and then we go to chi chi's which is my favorite like italian that makes it sound fancy it's really not fancy it's the best spaghetti ever because they cover their noodles in butter before they cover it in meat sauce so we're just kind of collecting our things um i finished all the work i was supposed to do today got my sweater need to get some water and some shoes and the fiance and we're ready to go we made it, and if you're wondering, it's called the Wakefield Winter Wonderland. And wait till you guys see this. But look! We have lights literally strung like across the street from house to house. Not this one, but each of the houses tell Twas the Nightmare or Twas the Night Before Christmas. <laughs> I can't speak. I love this tree. Are you enjoying your Christmas night date night? Can we take a thumbnail? Right here, what's the, yeah. Okay, screenshot that. Bradley's currently enamored by this palm tree. How, did someone <laughs> shimmy that? I have no idea. But look, and look at the icicle lights. This person's a huge Raiders fan. 
There's a house down the street that's a huge Ducks fan and Bradley's Can't fan girling. <laughs> so look, this house is obsessed with hockey and they have a Christmas hockey game featuring Santa as a fan eating nachos. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Some elves. He's dro he dropped his nachos. <laughs> of course, I'm running out of battery. Some elves. That guy from Frosty. Oh, that is Frosty the Snowman. Yeah, Frosty the oh. Snowman's the ref. The abominable snowman's the goalie. We got the Grinch. Who's, and then a, who's a king, of course. Then of my favorite. So my camera just died, so this vlog's gonna get a lot less more magical. That wasn't good English, but... So here's the duck's house, and Bradley's especially excited because... How did they do that? I need that on mine! Their little street number is ducked out. <laughs> and it says, let's go ducks on there. Incredible. Um, you need to send your family photos. So yeah, we're just walking around. You guys, I love this house because the blue lights are supposed to be water. But look at the mermaid. She's so majestic. I love it. I don't know if you're able to tell. The Grinch is driving away with Cindy Lou Who. You really can't tell. It's too dark. My camera would have picked it up. Oh, wow. But there is a nightmare for a Christmas house over there that I'm very much looking forward to. I'm missing Star Wars. This house is Disneyland themed. Kind of. Love it. But next is the house that I really need to see. This. Are you kidding? Yes. Look at the list and everything. Sally's had a basketball. It appears to be a handball of sorts. Look, they even have Santa up on the roof. And Speedle. Oh oh, the movie is playing on the roof. <gasps> no, it's just the moon. Oh no, oh my god. We're done at Candy Cane Lane. Oh, it's on us. You ready for Chi-Chi's, my babe? Uh, sure. Look, just look at that. Here's a good look at it. It's beautiful. We just read the story about it. They, uh, after the 94 Northquake, Northridge earthquake. Northquake. Northquake. Uh, you know, came together to I know, see I love what that's each the... other needed, and that's how the things got started. I love it. And that's incredibly nice. Can't wait to have, oh my God, put your children in the car. <laughs> Can't wait to have a house one day to decorate it to the nines, babe. thought you were gonna say, I can't wait to have Chi-Chi's. I also can't wait to have Chi-Chi's. <laughs> See you there. Do you have enough damn wine? <laughs> it's oh my god, oh, Bradley, you're very excited for wine. Sourdough bread, yes, yes. Okay, best spaghetti of life. Very large plate, Bradley got Ricky Tony. Look how happy he is. <laughs> Now, very cozy. My mom got me this blanket. I showed it at my birthday haul. But I love it. It's very soft. That that did nothing to show you what it looked like. There's but... a Yankee Candle commercial. <gasps> I love Yankee Candles. There's Geppetto. We got the Christmas tree on, the fire on. So yeah, we are just... Uh, I turned this around, but I'm on my phone and I can't. So we're just chilling. Tomorrow's holiday me video is already done and ready, so I'm just chillaxing. And probably gonna fall asleep soon.